been flirting with myself way too long. Need to quit it like it's Quidditch with the golden boss. None of my best friends don't care at all. And I'm gonna watch them fall like the violent war. And I said what I said. Peace. What's good, guys? How's it going? So, let's go over the SummerSlam match card. Let's go over the matches and let's uh, get into the predictions. So, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Not going to be here long. I really don't even give a shit about SummerSlam after what we all witnessed last night with the monumental historic return of CM Punk. And uh, it's only going to get better from here. With the soon-to-be addition of Brian Danielson. Soon-to-be the arrival of Adam Cole. And the arrival of Wyndham Rotunda, a.k.a. Bray Wyatt. So all eyes are on AEW. AEW is riding a extremely high fucking wave of momentum. And it's only going to get better from here. But uh, SummerSlam, man, just really just has been horrible. It's just been built so horribly and so poorly. It's just unreal. The only match that, that I legitimately care about is Edge and Rollins. Because that, that's been built so beautifully. Um, even Roman Reigns and John Cena, even that has been built so piss poorly. It's just like, who gives a shit? You know, for real. It could have been, it could have felt special. It could have, you know, meant something. But in typical WWE fashion, they always find ways to fuck up and ruin things. So, you know, they have no one to blame but themselves. So let's go ahead and dive into the match card, shall we? I'm not going to go into any particular order. I'm just going to go with um, what I want first. I think there's like nine matches. It's a bunch of matches. So uh, let's kick things off with uh, Drew McIntyre and Jinder Mahal. So Drew McIntyre versus Jinder Mahal. Drew McIntyre is going to win. I believe that Great Khali is going to get involved as well. But uh, I do see Drew McIntyre winning. Who gives a shit? Next, we have Alexa Bliss versus Eva Marie. Alexa is going to win. I do predict and believe that Alexis, I mean, Alexa is going to get booed out of the building. Uh, enough of this Bray Wyatt gimmick. I mean, she literally stole the man's gimmick. I felt like when they released... Bray, they should have written Alexa off TV that following Monday. They should have written her off TV so they could, you know, revamp her character, find a new gimmick for her. And uh, that's what should have happened. But, you know. Next, we have Sheamus versus Damian Priest for the United States Championship. Damian Priest is going to win here. I don't really give a shit about it. Um, and I am high on both Sheamus and Damian Priest, but seriously, Damian Priest has been feuding with Miz and Morrison for about the last eight, nine months now. Hopefully, the Miz will turn on Morrison. I think that would be great and have those guys feud. Next, we have the Mysterious versus the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. The Usos are going to retain, but we don't give a shit because we've seen this match 10,011 times. Moving on here, AJ Styles and Almas versus Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, a.k.a. R RK Bro. Orton and Riddle, Matt Riddle will win the titles. Who gives a shit? Next... Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Bianca Belair will retain. Although I wouldn't be surprised if Zelina Vega and Carmella get involved. 
Next, we have Nikki Ash. Nikki Asshole. Nikki the fucking clown. Versus Rhea Ripley. Versus Charlotte Flair. A triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. My prediction is Charlotte Flair will win. Next, we have Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg for the WWE Championship. Um, this is a tough one for me. I do want Bobby Lashley to retain, and I think he will. But after what happened last night with CM Punk, you know how Vince is going to be. Damn it, we got to change the course of history. Damn it. Let's put the title on Goldberg. Let's put it on him. Let's put it on him. So, with that being said, I do think that Goldberg will probably end up winning the WWE Championship. I, I, I do. You know how Vince can be. Um, Roman Reigns versus John Cena for the Universal Championship. Uh, Roman Reigns is going to win here. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not really excited for SummerSlam. I'm just not. So, on that note, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, comment down below, and definitely subscribe for more videos. I will have my review of SummerSlam out tomorrow. Then, on Monday... We will do the NXT TakeOver 36 review. That'll be out Monday. And uh, we've got NXT TakeOver 36 to kind of look, look forward to for tomorrow. But I think that SummerSlam is going to be a flop. And before I end the video, I apologize for not doing Impact this week. Uh, the show really wasn't that good. It was okay at best. Nothing really happened. Nothing monumental happened at all. And then I know that Emergence was last night. Uh, I might watch that a little bit, probably a little bit before SummerSlam. So I might watch that. I heard that was a pretty okay show. But uh, other than that, man, SummerSlam is looking and shaping up to be utter shit. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.